Our guest today is Jasmine Sa. She is the founder of Angi Khan Dance Academy in New Hampshire, which also has many branches in Massachusetts. She has been part of India and New England Wedding Expo every year. And she always comes up with a new, unique program and ideas. We are going to talk to her today about her new concept, which she is going to choreograph and produce this year for the Wedding Expo at Burlington Marriott on March 6th. Jasmine, welcome to our studio. Thank you. And uh, thank you for your time. Oh, thanks for inviting me. Sure. And uh, so every year you have done a different, unique concept. We want to hear from you directly. What is this year you are going to do? Um, last year we did a Brides of India, and mm -hmm. this year it will be Rituals and Traditions. Mm -hmm portraying through the dance. So we have about six, seven dances and through that we'll portray a different rituals from different regions of India. Now, when, when I think about rituals, ritual is a little bit too complicated, you know, yeah. people doing things, you know. How are you going to portray that into in, in a dance form? You are right. It is difficult to do it in dance because we have limitations and just in a short period of time we have to present that. So. It's, it will going to be very short dances uh, and the rituals like uh, our Gujarati ritual that we have known as uh, Manwa Murat in which a manik stump, a piece of uh, wood is planted in the yard of a bride and groom's uh, house which is asking permission from Mother Earth to build a canopy for the wedding ceremonies. So that we will be doing through the dance. A Ganesh Thapna, I think it's common in all the regions, yeah. Sure, yeah. So that will be presenting. Uh, this Juta thing okay. will be presenting big that. Yeah, sure. Yes, big fun ceremony, mm. Mendi. Mm. So those are certain ceremonies which you can portray through dances, okay. which we'll try to. And how many dancers do you think will be participating? Uh, we'll have uh, about 35 dancers. 35 dancers. Yeah. And in the rituals, is it going to focus on particular area or different regions? Uh, area? Different areas. Uh, I have Gujarat, Maharashtra, Bengal. Mm, Rajasthan. Yeah. Okay. Punjab. Punjab, of course. Punjab. Yeah. You cannot have Indian wedding without That's those Punjab. Yeah, 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 I do have Punjab. Punjab. Yeah. Excellent. And uh, so my question to you is that you know you have been a dancer yourself uh, all, all your life, and you know from very early, and you have been dancing. Um, if have you ever thought that what role does dance can play in actual marriage uh, or after marriage? Uh, not really, but if you are a dancer uh, and if you have studied Indian culture, that will help you a lot uh, because you know what traditions mean and you t learn those traditions through dances and that's going to help you in your family life. Mm -hmm. That's what I believe because uh, again, marriage is our union of bride and groom at the same time, two families too. The two families born through all these ceremonies and rituals. That's the point of having all these ceremonies mm -hmm. to bring families together, get to know each other. And yeah, and dance, dance, I'm not sure how it can help, but I think a husband and wife has have, they have to dance on each other's tunes they already and do make it. life happy. They do it anyway, right? Yeah. Good or bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, um, someone like you who has, of course, you have seen the generation before. Uh, about marriage and uh, your own marriage. Uh, now you are here in the U.S. and you see the next generation. So how marriage, the concept of marriage has changed in your mind as an institution? Uh, a lot of changes. I, I'll give you an example. Um, you know in India, especially during my time, during the wedding, the girl and the family cry a lot because you know, the girl is going to diff totally a new family, different, sometimes totally in a different area. So I had my album and one of my, when I came into this country, um, friend, my neighbor became my friend and she came to my house and I was showing her all these pictures. And she saw me crying, my mother crying. So she was like, why are you crying? Weren't you happy to get married? So it's such a different concept, right? Yeah. Uh, in yeah, so Indian is very different thinking. We think that the girl is leaving the house. Of course, she's very happy and excited to go to this new house, to spend her life with her loved one. But at the same time, we are also upset that we are leaving our parents' house. 
but that was a different thinking during that time. Now things have changed. Mm -hmm. So now, especially in this country, if we say the girl goes to college, so she has left her parents' house from that time. And so when she gets married, it's not as difficult mm -hmm. as it used to be during our age. So that's, that's the biggest change. Uh, husband, wife, they know each other for a longer time than it used to be in a older days. Time, sure. So that is the main change, I would say. Yeah. Now, how um, how do you look at the the institution of marriage, for example? Like, uh, you know, the whole concept of marriage has really changed, and people are much more open. The women are no longer dependent on just husbands. Yeah. You know, they can take care of themselves. So, do you see any shift in, in the whole institution of uh, marriage? Of course, of course. You know, it used to be that uh, women had to take care of the house, men will go out and make the living. Yeah. And now the role, so, you know, women also do both. They earn, at the same time they take care of the family, they take care of the house. So, even men, today's men, I have seen that today's men also take interest in that. Mm. They take care of the kids, they take them to school, they take them to the different activities, they have to help in, in the household. Because the life has become so fast, mm -hmm. so both, both of them have to give their time in whatever, in everything that they do. Excellent. Now, uh, <clears throat> just a serious question about dance, that uh, the role of dance overall in this society, mm -hmm. family, and culture, that uh, we have seen that no matter what happens, you know, whether you go to a temple or a child is born, or everything starts with the dance. Right? There right, is a, yeah. You can see this... Uh, this, uh, you know, the whole, the rhythmic dance, even in the nature and everywhere. Exactly, exactly. And uh, so now you as a dance teacher, dancer yourself, um, how significant, how do you look at dance? See, dance, as you said, dance in a temple, because mm -hmm. it is a form of a prayer, just like for any artist, their work is their, their prayer or their puja. So for a dancer, dance is the form of a prayer. She dances uh, and prays to the Lord. For a singer, it will be her or his songs or the music. Mm. That's his prayer. So we start dance as a form of a prayer. Then we dance to bring out our happiness. Mm. We dance to bring out our sorrows. I have my adult class and the ladies come. And that is the time that they relax and have so much fun. So who, 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 what is the age of your oldest student, without identifying the dancer? Uh, 60. 60. Yeah. That's very yeah. excellent. Yeah. Yeah. The whole concept of age has also it changed has lately. It has changed very, very much, totally sure. changed. Yeah. yeah, we don't think that we are old at the age of 60 either. Sure, sure. So it has changed, yes. Yeah. So so the dance, you think, is a really integral part of all this? It definitely is. Yeah. It teaches, of course, it's a kind of a fitness. Mm -hmm. uh, spiritually, also it helps. It helps you to learn culture and traditions, mm -hmm. oh, and it gives you peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Now, um, in terms of, again, you know, the when it comes to the, the dancers who are going to um, dance mm -hmm. at the, at, in, the, in the program, uh, how was their reception when you sat down and talked to them about... Uh, oh, they were very excited, mm -hmm. because some of them had performed last year also, mm -hmm. and they were looking forward to this, and when I approached them, mm -hmm. uh, they were all ready to dance and looking forward to this event. And you have all these age groups there? Oh, I have the, different age groups. No, they are uh, 16 years, they are 16, 17 16. years, mm -hmm. uh, till I have few adults. Okay, yeah. excellent. Now, uh, as somebody, you have been yourself married for a long time and you have, of course, uh, seen a lot of marriage and all those things. Uh, what advice you will give, one advice, to somebody who is just getting married or planning to get married? Uh, try to be happy, keep each other happy, and they have to learn to forgive, forget, forgive each other's faults mm -hmm. and just enjoy being with each other. And one thing they should not do. Not to do. Not to do. Not to criticize. Not to criticize. At the same time, sometimes criticize also makes you learn and change, mm. but not too much of criticism. And I think after camera, you you were talking about something that uh, one should ignore each other's faults. Of course, you have to ignore each other's faults. Yeah, look at the good side of each other and ignore the faults. And that's how you can keep marriage going. And how easy or difficult it is to ignore the. Very, the, 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 very bad, difficult. The, the bad side. Very uh, difficult, like, like yeah. It is difficult, but you have to make it work. 
Now, um, the one last thing I wanted to ask you about your program. Mm -hmm. So, if if we are coming to 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 watch this uh, program at the at the expo, mm -hmm. so we should be able to get some sort of a glimpse of the glimpse different, of different, these states. different traditions, right? Yeah. And if you can just say one more time the the names of the states and the regions you're um, going to put. Gujarat, Rajasthan, Bengal, Maharashtra, Punjab. Okay. And now when you were doing research mm -hmm. um, for these different type of ritualistic dance, which is going to be very difficult by the way, right, but yeah. all the, you know, all the mm -hmm. best wishes for that. Um, did you learn anything new about A lot, a lot. Because I I knew about Gujarati mm -hmm. or traditions and customs and but there were so many different customs. Uh, there's one uh, in northern part of India where they they invite goddess river Ganga. Mm -hmm. So they get a, a pot filled with water from nearby river or water, mm -hmm. assuming that that is river Ganga coming to their house sure. because they want blessings from Ganga mm -hmm. and then bride and groom are supposed to bath with it. Then in uh, Punjab, there is a, uh, a tradition the day before is a Jago. Jago means you stay up all night. Mm -hmm. What means is that traditionally it used to be that uh, the families and friends will go around in the village uh, and invite everybody for this upcoming wedding the next day. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of inviting everybody. So it was Jago because they are going with lamps on their head and screaming and dancing. Mm -hmm. So they do and and another thing is Punjabi weddings are held at nights. Then in a uh, uh, Rajasthani, the groom enters and he's supposed to break a hanging toran. Mm -hmm. With his sword, uh, Toran. I, uh, uh, it's a beautiful piece. Okay. And he's supposed to break with his uh, his sword. Mm -hmm. So those are the traditions which I didn't know. And now, now the one it. tradition I was intrigued, and again you were talking off the camera about the spitting thing. Yeah, so, that is in so our. What, what is that? Yeah, I uh, when I got married, I also didn't know about that tradition. And so I assume this is from Gujarat. This is from Gujarat. Okay. And I don't think it is uh, it followed in each part of Gujarat, but this is from my husband's side. And my mother-in-law told me that we have this tradition uh, which is performed the day before the wedding that the bride goes to their house and gargles with uh, sugar water mm -hmm. and then speaks towards the family of uh, ah, the family. Uh, yeah, the in-laws side mm -hmm. uh, which I thought was very weird. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't end up uh, performing that, uh, that ceremony uh, but now I was thinking about it while I was uh, getting ready for this uh, show that the reason must be that it is expected from the bride's side that she's telling in-laws that I'll be bringing sweetness in the family mm -hmm. and bonding the family together. I think that must be the reason behind this tradition. Sure, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. So each tradition has some reason behind it and that's what it must be. So uh, this is my last question mm -hmm. again since we're talking about the traditions and the rituals. Uh, uh, in your experience, uh, are there some rituals in, in weddings and things like that which can be discarded or...? So because there, see, the rituals were designed in olden times, keeping the time and the surroundings during that time. Like in our Gujaratis, when, uh, when the Bharat comes, uh, the mother of the bride invite, goes to invite to them and holding a Manik Devo in in her hand, which is like a lamp. Mm -hmm. Now, today's day, it doesn't make any difference whether she has a because it's everything is done in a bright light. Mm -hmm. In olden times, the weddings were performed at night. There was no electricity, so just to give the light, sure. there she, maybe she it was inviting sense. them and her, had her, her holding the light in her hand. Yeah. So that must be the reason, but doesn't make any sense these days. But we still do that because it looks beautiful. Yeah. And that thing is so nicely decorated. And the you know the bride's mother looks beautiful holding that. So that's one tradition. Doesn't make any sense to this day, but we still do that. Excellent. Jasmine, thank you very much for coming and we are really looking forward to your oh, program you there. It's going to be fun. Last year was absolutely fantastic thank and you. Uh, with so many singers and nothing is going to be great. I hope Again, everybody thank enjoys you very it. Much for your time. Thank you.